In this video, we're going to be talking about the final example of natural selection that you need to know for the IB. The first two was the Darwin's finches and then the moth story. And now we're going to get to the last one, which is, this, um, which is the concept of antibiotic resistance. Here we have Vin Diesel, right? He's an actor. And let's say here we have a bacteria, okay? We know bacteria is something that can potentially make us sick if we get infected. But not only this, bacteria can be very healthy for you. You have a lot, you have a kilogram of bacteria inside your gut, okay, which helps you survive. So kill, it can be both bad and good. But let's say this is a bad one and it's floating around in the air and it happens to infect Vin Diesel here, okay? So let's make it small. Um, and it goes in, it affects him, it goes into his body, right? Now what's going to happen is if his body cannot fight it by himself, okay, his body struggles to fight it, it's going to start duplicating and duplicating and get worse and worse and he's going to get very sick, okay? So that's, what, that's when medicine comes in, okay? And he can't handle it anymore, so he goes now to the hospital to get some antibiotics, right? We know antibiotics is anti against biotics, which means bacteria, okay? Anti-living thing called bacteria. Now, this in theory should help him. So let's see what happens, okay? So currently he's in this, um, um, he's in this bad state, okay? He's getting very sick. And this bacteria, okay, carries something called a plasmid. A plasmid is a circle thing like this. And this is um, DNA, okay? A it's a bit of its DNA. Just like um, us humans, our cells have a nucleus where we carry some of our DNA. They have a plasmid, the circular thing that carries some DNA. And these plasmids um, contain uh, the, the code or the genetics for how well this cell can survive and, and what things it can make. Okay, so we're going to say the one with the blue plasmid um, isn't able to fight off or make things that can that can um, defend itself against this antibiotic okay so we'll say this one is a good bacteria it is not resistant it cannot defend itself against antibiotics okay if you get if this one comes into contact with an antibiotic it will die its genetics cannot code for a survival mechanism okay and then we're going to give this one which is the red one a bad bacteria okay it carries a plasmid that has some information on how to defend it this bacteria against antibiotics okay so this one is resistant to this antibiotics it can defend itself against this um antibiotics okay so if we say this is the current state of vin diesel he's infected with all these um non-resistant or in my words good bacteria because we can defend ourselves against them um if he's infected with all this good bacteria if he takes um this 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 medicine this antibiotic it, it, they will completely die, okay, and he will get back to normal. He will get healthy, but something can happen. Let's say that he gets infected, and s some of these bacteria have a, have a, are very have um are of a specific variation. So every now and then, there's this bacteria, this um of the same species, is the same kind of bacteria, but this bacteria has a variation and an adaptation. It has this plasmid that can help it survive, okay? A plasmid that can help it make things that can break down this antibiotic so it can survive. So what will happen is, so you take this medication and it's antibiotic and it will kill all of the ones that doesn't have this plasmid that can defend it, that can defend the cell. So they will all die, but the one with this, this red plasmid or one with all the, this, this resistant plasmid, they will survive and they will then duplicate and duplicate and become more and more and despite taking medicine, so despite Vin Diesel taking more, me more and more medicine, um, it won't help because these are resistant to it. And so they'll go bigger and bigger. So the only way, I mean, they will get more and more. So the only way that Vin Diesel can then get rid of this bacteria that seems to not be responding to this antibiotic is either to increase the dose and hope that that will overwhelm the bacteria or simply change the bacteria because this form is uh, resistant to this bacteria. But maybe if you change antibiotics, give a different one, then this, um, this plasmid will not know how to defend itself against this other type of bacteria. And so maybe this other type of bacteria can kill this one, okay? So that's why it's very important um, that when you take antibiotics that you always finish your pack because this process can happen, this, this, this resistant Bacteria can happen if you don't take all of your antibiotics, like you decide to stop halfway. 
um, or if you take too much at once, okay? So it's very important to, to listen to the doctor and do exactly as they say when it comes to antibiotics. Otherwise, you can have this problem that happens. So despite taking so many antibiotics, you're not getting any better, okay? So it's very important. There's obviously scientific reasoning, but you don't need to understand this. But the point is, how this shows natural selection is that there was a specific species, okay, many of them, and one of them showed a different trait. And this trait was to be able to survive against bacteria, I mean antibiotics. And so the natural selection, the environment, caused all the weak bacteria to die out, and only the ones with the favorable, favorable trait to survive. So this is natural selection because nature or the environment selects who survives depending on their trait. And in this case, this one survived. And so knowing that it survived, it is able to reproduce and, and make more of itself, okay? And therefore duplicate and duplicate and take over than this species now, okay? So that's why it's an example of natural selection, okay? A form of evolution. Now, you need to know also that there's something um, in science, there's something called a petri dish, okay? And it's like a little plate, and, and scientists use it in the lab, okay? Because it's a controlled environment, okay? So they basically, if this is a little plate, they take this bacteria, they put it in the plate, okay? And then to test what bacteria, I mean, what medicine this bacteria is resistant to, um, they, they put these medicines, so they'll take a, a little pill, a little pill, and put it in three different places. All of these are different, okay, different pills. Now, let's say that this bacteria is resistant to none of them, okay, none of them. So, in this case, you can see the bacteria grow as normal, okay, none of them die around the, the pill, okay, but in this case here, we can see that this bacteria is resistant to this red pill and this blue pill because all around that back antibiotic, all the bacteria died, but everywhere far away, they survived, or everywhere near this green antibiotic, okay? So this, this experiment, scientists use them to see what kind of medicine works the best, okay? Because some medicine can make a really big space where there's no bacteria, meaning they work really well, and some will make a small space around them because they work somewhat. And so this is very important because scientists can do this experiment and then see, oh, oh, this one works the best for this bacteria. So when we find a person like Vin Diesel that's been affected by this kind of bacteria, they know which medication works the best and they will just give that one. So it's kind of like a little lab they can run and to test out with which medications work the best. Now, lastly, you need to know that there's something called a superbug. And basically, it's like, it's like a supervillain, okay? And two examples is MRSA, and it looks sort of like this, and then Clostridium difficile that looks like this. And these two are examples of superbugs, and this means that they are resistant to a very large uh, array of, of antibiotics. So as I said here, when you get infected, and for some reason it stops working, you should switch antibiotics because that could help now. These are resistant to so many, so even if you switch antibiotics a million times, they will never get killed, okay? These are superbugs, and they're super dangerous, okay? Because no antibiotics work for them. They're extremely difficult to eradicate. And again, they, these start happening because people take too many antibiotics at once, or they don't finish the antibiotics. And so we get all of these crazy um, mutations and bugs that start forming that we can't get rid of, no matter what antibiotics we use, okay? So overall, we talked about a lot here, but what you just need to understand is the concept of how antibiotic resistance is an example of natural selection, okay? This is one of the three real-life situations of natural selection that you need to know.